What is up guys, it's Jordan here and welcome back to a brand new video. I know I haven't uploaded for a few days, I'm sorry I've been ill and I wasn't going to make a video because I didn't want you guys to have to suffer with my cold ridden, completely blocked up nose voice for like a whole video, but I decided to say f*** it today and try and do my best anyway. So I apologise if I sound stupid and f*** you if you're saying you always sound stupid, but anyway, we're going to get on with this video. So today we're going to be going old school with a couple of, uh, a couple, sorry, a discussion video talking about Rainbow Six Siege and whether or not it's becoming too futuristic and if you haven't heard or you don't know, basically the new operator has a hologram type thing which is very Halo reachy, I would say, personally, because I, I don't know if you guys ever played Halo, but you'll know you had the um, the hologram thing which you would shoot and it would run forward. This one doesn't run forward, but it, it's the similar kind of thing. The only difference is Siege is supposed to be a current modern day kind of game and Halo Reach, funny enough, is not a modern day game. Oh my god. But this is harder than I thought. I'm actually kind of choking somehow. I don't know what's going on. Like, I'm not even sure this is a cold anymore. I think I might actually just be dying. Anyway, so, yeah, Rainbow Six Siege has now got holograms. It's got all sorts of crazy things. You've got um, the guy who can be invisible to drones, which I, I can see that being a possibility, maybe. I don't know. That one's a bit on the fence, but lots of people still think it's kind of futuristic. But if I'm being totally honest, people have been complaining for a while that Siege has been moving away from its original design choice and it, the whole idea around it. And even further, fans of Rainbow Six as a whole have been definitely complaining that Siege is a massive step away from like the whole Rainbow Six brand and what it was all about. And then you've got the final category of people that say, oh, it's a Tom Clancy game, it, it can't be doing this. I just want to point one thing out, Ghost Recon, The Division. The Tom Clancy name is long, it's been destroyed in some ways by Ubisoft, and that's no, no hate on Tom Clancy himself, he is brilliant, but Ubisoft have definitely taken that license of Tom Clancy and they've, they've stretched it as far as it can possibly go. Probably too far, it's broken, it's gone. But I want to give my thoughts on this anyway because I have been a long-standing fan of all the Tom Clancy games back from the original Rainbow Sixes, the original Ghost Recons, the original Splinter Cells, you name it, I have played it because I've, I love the books and I love the games. And I've also, I'm also a fan of the newer stuff, so I like The Division and Siege. Like, nothing has really broken my interest in the Tom Clancy games. Future Soldier from Ghost Recon was one hiccup for me, didn't like that one that much. But going back to Siege, I honestly think people are getting a bit upset about nothing because Siege has always been slightly on the unrealistic side. Like, for instance, there is a mug that you cannot break with melee at all. This mug cannot be broken. It is the only mug that I know of in Siege that cannot be broken by melee. You're telling me that your guy can break through a door, but he can't smash a mug with his hand. Are you tell me that's realistic? That ain't realistic. But moving back on topic, like I said, Siege has never been entirely realistic. The operators have always had gadgets that are a bit far-fetched. For instance, even Jaeger's thing is a little bit over the top because as far as I'm aware there is no technology that can accurately disable a grenade every single time. Like I think if that technology does exist it will be a hit or miss kind of thing whereas Jaeger's device will literally catch anything even ash rounds like there is no technology that can disable a grenade or any, for any form of launcher shooting that quickly through a window it just it physically doesn't exist okay. It, I'm sure it's a, like a prototype or experimental thing somewhere but it's definitely not as refined as we see in Siege with Jaeger. Also, taking it a step further, if you think about the core principle of the game, it is a very far step away from realistic. The idea is members of the same nation sometimes, but generally the same side, fighting each other. Like, you have the SAS people fighting each other. You have the SWAT people, I can't remember the actual faction off my head, I'm being silly, but they are fighting each other. They are, like, BOP, they're, like, all the same nations, they're all supposed to be allies, and they're all fighting each other. Even the damn radio guy that speaks to you is the same no matter what side you're on, so he's, he's just double teaming it, he's fucking Splinter Cell double agent right there. But the whole idea is unrealistic, like, the idea of the game is not realistic. When you compare it to its previous entries like Rainbow Six, Rainbow Six before Siege always had a very grounded, realistic story. Now we've got characters with special, like we've got characters of the same faction fighting each other with special abilities and they all have these crazy unique uniforms and all sorts of things. Even before skins were introduced they always had their own iconic appeal to them and that is obviously just not realistic. And if you want to take this even further, look at the beta for Siege. The beta for Siege was straight up SWAT vs terrorists. That's the, like if you look at it, that's all it is. The icon pictures are just terrorists. And not even the beta, sorry, this was the E3 announcement. The E3 announcement, was, yeah, that was realistic. It was just SWAT vs terrorists. So you can see that at some point they decided to move away from the realistic approach anyway, and they went with the more unrealistic way. Now, on the flip side of the argument, I will say that yes, he just definitely 
taking steps to go further into unbelievable technology like holograms holograms is definitely not a thing that's been perfected to a very good level yet so i do understand where people are coming from but just this, this video is supposed to just kind of make you realize that siege is not or has never been sorry a realistic game it's never been based on realism now it is definitely slightly more realistic than other games because it's tactical it's slow paced you die a lot quicker no health regeneration so yeah it is a more serious game i wouldn't say re actually yeah that's the word i'd use serious it's not more of a realistic game it's a more serious game however beyond the actual core features of the game it does not take itself very seriously i mean for god's sake we had we had zombies in it like a few months ago like, <laughs> like if you thought siege was realistic i'm pretty sure outbreak would have changed your mind that that's when they said hey we're done with any form of realism because of zombies, but I'm not complaining. Zombies was cool as bring back Outbreak, please. But anyway, guys, that is going to be all for this video because I am honestly struggling to finish this video. Like I am, I am dying right now of man flu. Man flu is real. If I if, like to the three percent of females that are subscribed to my channel, if you have a boyfriend, just just feel bad for him, man, because man flu is real. Man flu is so real and it affects thousands of men, millions actually everywhere. Right, I think I am probably getting a bit delusional now, so I'm going to end this video here and say thank you very much for watching. Please do leave all your thoughts in the comments because the whole idea of these discussion videos is to get a conversation going. I just wanted to put in my opinion on the whole stigma right now of Siege becoming way too unrealistic. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoy and I hope you have an amazing rest of your weekend. I will see you guys in the next one.